Welcome to How To Windows 7. This is Jason Healy, and today we're going to talk about how you can control access to anybody who uses your computer, specifically your children, but you can use it for guests or anybody that you want to block games or internet activities, programs or time limits, or you can even download restrictions. And what we're going to do is first we're going to go to the start button down here in the bottom left corner. We're going to click on that. And then you're going to go to the control panel. You're going to click on that. And up here in the view by category, you want to make sure it's on category listing. And then you're going to go and you're going to see the button where it says add or remove user accounts. You're going to click on that. Alright, so this box right here is going to list everything that your user accounts are in. What you're going to do now is you're going to create a new account. You're going to make sure that the first, the standard user is checked, not the administrator. You want the standard user. Or you can you type whatever you want for the name. We're just going to use access control. as our username for now and then you're going to go down here to the bottom right corner and you're going to click create account alright so now you have a standard account name and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to the bottom and you're going to say set up parental controls you're going to click on that now right here I don't have any passwords set up on my computer right now so it's going to come up with this yellow box right here it's going to basically tell me that I don't have any passwords on my computer so when I click on this and you're going to click on it right now the standard user account that you just created you're going to click on that it's going to tell you one or more administrator accounts have no password so basically it's going to ask you if you want to make a password for the accounts that you don't have a password on right now we're just going to click now. This is actually a Windows Live box that just popped up. But first, we're going to go down here. We're going to, if you have a Windows Live program installed, which you should be able to go in through our website if you want to know how to install a Windows Live program, which is actually a very good program. I'll, there should be a tutorial for it. But for now, we're going to go down here and we're going to click none for select a provider and then you're going to go back up to access control and click on it if you have any passwords just click no or if you want to set up passwords click yes and it'll go into a window this window right here and it's going to ask you to make a password confirm it and right now we're just going to click cancel on that and we're going to click no on access control basically it's going to pop up this. This is actually built into Windows so you don't have to install any programs on it or anything and basically what you're going to do is you're going to see the parentals box right here you're going to click on on and force controls settings basically what this is going to allow you to do is to set time limits for games or anything the time limits here is actually setting a time limit for how long the person is allowed to be access to the account and when that time is not active then that person will not have access to that account. Now if you would look at this section right here all you have to do is say you want to block your like certain sections of the day and make so you can only access say between 3 and 6 you would have to make every block blue except for the blocks between 3 and 6. So say Sunday you want it from 3 to 6, you would have to go from midnight the whole way up to 3. And then you would have to do from 6 the whole way to midnight. And then basically that's all you have to do is hold down each. You click, you drag. Remember that each block has to be blue. And then for that, you would, for games, actually for time limits it says time limits and now it's on it used to say off and then you would go for games and game ratings that's off right now just go down to the games 
basically what you're going to do is you're going to control what games they can or cannot play. And if you want to access control, if you want to even play games, you play yes. If you don't want them to play any games, you just easily select no, and no access to any games will be allowed. Now, you can also set game setup if you want to allow to play games. You can click on set game ratings, which will allow them to choose which ones they want you you want your child to play basically early childhood the whole way up to adult rated games and all you would do is simply click on that box and it highlights the rating the whole way up and then if you would scroll down it comes down to what types of games like violence and basically any violent uh, critic like critique or anything that would be in categories of gaming if you say you don't want any nudity games games with any nudity or partial nudity in it you would just simply check those boxes and then you would push OK push OK again. And then if you would want to block specific programs or just allow specific programs then you would simply just go down to this third category down here it says allow and block specific programs and then you say access control can use all programs or you can control programs that you will allow and it's going to bring out this box right here and it's going to have this screen and it's going to take a little bit to load and you just let it load alright so then it's going to bring up basically any executable file on your computer is going to be brought up with this program and what it's going to allow you to do is check any box that you would want so basically if you would want them to play a game or whatever that you want, like if you want them to say Dreamweaver, if you want them to have access to that, you would just click check that box and then you push OK. Or if the program's not in the list, you can click on the browse button down here and then you can just go into this thing right here and search for it and then push open and it'll add it to the list. And then you would push OK. basically everything you have or want is now set up with everything you can do with the built-in program for Windows and then you would push OK and then it, when it comes back here it says that control that account you just set up is going to say standard user parental controls on 